So this is about using tech in education and clever touch tech in education. Now, most schools want to use technology in the classroom because then in this day and age, students are already engaged with using tech. And so they need to be able to bring it into the classroom as well because that improves the engagement. Uh, and if they are more engaged, they're more focused, the teaching and learning outcomes are better. Um, it does mean a change in the sort of teacher's pedagogy from the days of old when it was chalk and talk and it also means that it's a big investment for schools who are, are struggling budgets. Now, using tech in education allows flipped classrooms, it allows uh, to give the children sort of the opportunity to problem solve, collaborate, critical thinking, all those soft skills that they're going to need for the workplace. But it doesn't come without some uh, struggles. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the challenges. One of the key things, obviously, is value for money. Um, it's a big investment. They last probably spent money in the classrooms for, it, for front of classroom solutions a good 15 years ago with uh, interactive whiteboards, but the technology has moved on quite a bit since then. Um, the infrastructure, who's going to look after those screens? Who's going to maintain them? Uh, legacy resources. Uh, their staff have got 10 years worth of uh, interactive whiteboard resources, how are those going to be integrated moving forward? And staffability, how are we going to get uh, staff on board with using the technology? Um, there are young teachers that are coming through now who have been taught different pedagogies to a lot of teachers who have been in the trade for a long, long time. So it's got, the screens have got to be adaptable. Most schools are made of a mishmash of a lot of different bits of tech, legacy and some of it new, iPads, Android tablets and so on and so forth and they've got to be able to keep up. Uh, the technology today, everyone's used to it with, with updates with their phones, you've always got the latest version. So schools in, so up till now have been stuck with the, just a 15 year old version of a whiteboard. So now the technology's out there that they can keep up to date as well, but how do they do that? And one of the key things about Clever Touch is that it supports all of these things and all of the changes in pedagogy that are required for using new tech in the classroom in a very simple way. CleverShare is a feature of the Android and you can connect tablets but you can also connect uh, uh, laptops as well if you wanted to. So you can use it in your uh, ICT suite and you can have all the children's laptops connected up to the screen so they can join as well. But that's not all about the Android. It has a lot of features that really, really help teaching and it's about supporting teaching so that I can concentrate as a teacher on what's going on in my classroom and not about my presentation. So, the Android comes with a high precision pen. Now, these pens uh, work with alongside this, uh, it's an infrared grid that goes across the screen. It has more beams than any other screen on the market. Hence, it's very, very high precision and accurate. The stylus, you can now have two different colors on either side. Now that saves around looking around for different color pens. It has a built-in QR code generator, so if I want to send content out to my class, all I do is press the QR button, they show the camera or the QR reader of their device onto here, and then all the slides are sent to their device automatically without me having to email, without me having to save it onto a USB or send it some other way. It's also got Cloud Drive though, so if I use OneDrive and Google Drive and increasingly more and more people do use cloud storage, then I've got the option here to save it to my cloud storage because these screens come with user profiles. So I can set up so different teachers can be using the same screen and have just login with their cloud drive and with their files. The CleverTouch screen also comes with its very own app store. Now, this is unique to CleverTouch. We've worked with educational app developers on the feedback from teachers about what educational apps they were going to find useful to use in the classroom. And CleverTouch then went and approached these educational developers and said, we'd like some versions of your apps, please, but there's to be uh, no adverts, no pop-ups, no in-app purchases, essentially no surprises for the teacher in the classroom. So they're all curated and ready to download. So as a teacher, if I suddenly spot an app that I want to download during my lesson, I don't have to go to my IT or network manager to get him to do it for me because it's on the Android screen. And I can simply choose by uh, subject, by age, and by language. And it's as simple and straightforward as downloading an app onto a tablet or your phone. And they're all free. 
Engaging the class is the holy grail for teachers and uh, anything, any technology that enables me to do that, I'm going to welcome. Uh, as a newly qualified teacher, I would spend hours and hours on my lesson prep and I, my worry was not about my ability or my knowledge of my subject, it was, was it interesting enough? Was it engaging enough? Were they all taking part? Was I able to give them activities that they could reinforce their learning? And would I be able to do that without spending eight hours every Sunday trying to put that together? Now, uh, what Clever Touch does and its accompanying software and the Android and all the other features, it really allows me to nail that. And I can really get down to what it is that I want my lesson to comprise of. And it's the four C's and it's absolutely the holy grail for any teacher. So key one is content. If there is so much content out there now, there's so many resources, there's panoramic videos, there's YouTube channels, all these sort of things that if I have the right technology in the classroom, I can harness and I can really improve the teaching and learning outcomes of my class. Collaboration. If we're using different devices, if we're working together on projects, if we're using flipped learning, my students are collaborating and that's key skills they're going to need to learn in the workplace. It's going to encourage critical thinking. I can use polls, games, quizzes, YouTube videos, all sorts of things to get them thinking critically and problem solving. And that's going to develop their leadership skills, all things they're going to need in the workplace. And finally, communication. They're all used to communicating every day on their phones. So why not sort of harness that sort of um, willingness to use that technology in the classroom? The software that comes with CleverTouch that enables me to do all of this is Lynx. It's Snowflake, it's Lessons Online, it's the Android Lux, it's the Sporting Apps, it's the Clever Store. All of these things that I have as in my teacher, as a, as a, as a teacher I have as my toolkit. And it all helps me to put together that critical, really engaging lesson. The key thing about Clever Touch is that it's not subscription based. So this is going to be good news for my SLT because the updates come in for free. Uh, the software is agile developed, so it's, it's end user led and the features that you're going to see in Lynx are all as a result of feedback from teachers and it's compliant with legacy resources. So all those hundreds of notebook files or flip chart files or PowerPoint files uh, a teacher can use in the Lynx software and take advantage of all the easy features. So we talked at the beginning about some of the challenges featuring the senior leadership team about investing in technology in their classroom. So let's go to number one, value for money. Clever touch screens are feature rich. They don't have to pay for software. They don't have to pay for updates. They can use their existing tablets to interact with the screens. It's dual platform. Uh, it's Android or you can use the PC. Legacy resources, all those resources, teachers can open their old resources and move on with the new technology. The infrastructure, the screens come with uh, a mobile device management so schools can manage the estate of screens. It comes with Clever Message which is a signage and it comes with user profiles so I can have more than one teacher using a screen at a time. Um, it's adaptable. So it's cross-platform, it has dual functions. So as a teacher, I could have a task on there in the Android and I could be taking Sims Register or working with a small group on my Windows PC in the classroom. Keeping up, you get free firmware and software updates. So you're always going to have the latest tech on your wall. It's not suddenly going to become obsolete in two years time. And the key one here is staff. Staff are the most important resource in the school. And so they need to feel confident in walking up and using these screens. So um, the screens are made really easy to use. They're easy to use as a smartphone. And we offer training from, with product specialists like myself to support teachers in adopting this new technology. Because it's one thing to come back in September and find one of these fantastic screens on your wall. But as a newly qualified teacher, I might ask myself, how am I going to use that in my science lesson? And so. Clever Touch is also about supporting using these screens because the whole reason that schools invest in this technology is not to have the latest tech in the classroom, but it is to improve teaching and learning outcomes. So, for any more help, tips, advice, and to book training on any aspect of the Clever Touch screen,
visit us at the Clever Touch Academy website.